In this tutorial, I wanted to create a straightforward full song setup that incorporates an external synth. We're going to be using MIDI notes from our kick and drum 2 to play the synth and several CCs to modulate the synth's parameters. If you're following along with the SPS file for this tutorial, there are a bunch of different synths that will work with this song. The only requirements really are that it can be monophonic, can be played with MIDI input, and that some of its parameters can be controlled by MIDI CCs. MIDI control of the knobs is fairly common. See your synth manuals for details. I'm using the Moog Minotaur. It's a simple synth, east coast subtractive setup. When choosing what parameters to control with sensory percussion, I went for the knobs that I usually reach for when playing this synth in a quote unquote normal application. Here's what we're modulating. And here's a chart for what the CCs are controlling. Feel free to change things around to meet the needs of your synth, or if you're using a soft synth, you can use this as a guide for how to map the controllers. This song is set up so that you can play a bass note on your kick, as well as some relevant melody notes with the zones on drum 2. The controllers allow you to intuitively modify the tone of your synth. Make sure to adjust the control parameters to work well with your playing style and your synth. Each section of the song has a pretty similar layout. Drum 2 is pretty much devoted to the synth, except for a melodic sample cycle on the stick shot zone. Notice that Drum 3 does not send out any MIDI notes. It has most of our sample action on it. The center has a snare sound with its pitch modulated by velocity. Hardest velocities trigger a pad chord that fits the synth notes of the section. Other percussive samples are on the edge and rim zones. Stick shot on drum 3 advances to the next section of the song. So that's a pretty concise overview of the song setup. Let's have a go through it and explore how we can blend our external synth with our sensory percussion palette. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial. You can find the files for this and all the other tutorials in this series on my Patreon. Feel free to hit me up with any questions.